Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everyone from St James Park. Look at that. We've got cleaners. We have cleaners, yes. I'm just gonna do the video over here so it's with the wave noise. Crystal Palace on Saturday. Another game which NFTV will be at. We're at every game, you know that. Me, Johnny and Carl are doing Selhurst Park. Very, very difficult to get to in terms of traveling. Uh, I'll be driving down and then getting the tube in from north of London. But uh, first game, and um, there'll be a lot of talks downstairs, well upstairs technically, um, who the new manager is going to be, of course. There's no Steve Bruce. I know Steve Bruce has talked about the abuse that he's get, personal abuse, which is wrong. In terms of football and tacticals, I put an article out on our website this morning. I criticise him loads in terms of the football, his tactics, playing players out of position, formations, leaving strikers on the bench, you name it. So, criticism of Steve Bruce, and rightly he's gone out of the club now. But Graham Jones, it's interesting what Graham Jones will do this weekend then, because we've seen a, a bust up, alleged bust up, which I actually think is all right. People are like, oh, it's a bust up. Oh. This happens all the time in football. So I actually think I'd rather have a bust up with two players showing a bit of passion, whatever their ability, than not show nothing. That shows to me that these two lads, Lascelles and Isaac Hayden, are having a bit of a fist fight. So what? It's a bit of passion. I like that. More of it. I want to see more of it. Didn't mind that in the training ground. I really, really didn't. What will Graham Jones do this weekend? Then? So will he, will he play a wing back system? Will he play it four at the back? Hopefully it's four at the back. We need a win. We need a win. It'll be interesting to see what kind of style of football that we'll go with. Because with Bruce has been kind of um, very much on the counter. We have attacked a little bit more. But I think defensively we've been worse than any season that under Steve Bruce. But I think Jones will tighten up the defence. Hopefully he has players in the right position. Unless there's injuries that's permitting. So far, at the time we're recording, there's no injuries except from Dubravka who's back in training. Miguel Miron who wasn't involved in last week because he was quarantining. I'm not sure if the rules and regulations allow him to play, but obviously this is done just before the press conference, so we'll have to wait and see on that. By the time this video goes out, you'll already know. So those will probably be the main two that would normally get in the starting lineup if they were both fit. However, Palace, of course, uh, the Zaha's doubtful, but as is out injured, they've, they've done okay. They've had a lot of draws this season. The only two defeats have come against two of the big boys. They have played Spurs, beat Spurs 3-0. So they have, oh, that sun's bright. So they have played some big teams. One win, but they've got less defeats than what actually Spurs have got this season. So they're drawing a lot of games. They're on eight points ahead of us. We're ahead of us at the minute on five, five points clear of us. The two need a win. They need a win desperately. Uh, Patrick Vieira, of course, said some nice stuff about the Newcastle takeover. He's been linked to Newcastle's job for a few years now and obviously he's gone across to the US and to Liga and then he's back in the Premier League now it's an 8 point gun doing there again for a draw but because with potential new manager is going to be looking at this game I think there will be and there should be and then, well, then again I say that there shouldn't but there should be as well at the same time a lift and performance for the players because the new manager is going to be looking on and whatever, whoever comes in the lads will be playing for their careers because of the takeover as well so you look at that starting eleven. there's a lot of them for me that are very, very average. And I think the defence needs pointed at and protection in front of the defence this season. We know that Wilson will score goals if he's fit. We know ESM's quality, we know that. We need to see Ryan Fraser starting some games. We need Miggy getting in a bang of form as well, if he plays, that is. But, yeah, it's... Um, it's a horrible place to go. I don't like Salhurst Park and I'm probably going to get some stick off Palace fans. just don't think it's a nice place. I don't like the stadium. It's up there with me with Turf Moor. It's one of the worst in the Premier League. It's right up there. Just don't like it. Really, really didn't like it. Um, it's difficult to get to. Palace, obviously their home fans are notorious for being loud, which is, helps the atmosphere because as Geordie's coming doing will help towards that. We're just, we've got to get, we've got to be, as I say, more protective at the back and we've got to, we need goals, Ugh, this team is struggling, whether Graham Jones has us for one game or two games, we've got to start winning, we've got Chelsea after this as well, so it's tough, but as I say, eh, eh, we need a win, we need a win, whatever happens upstairs, with all the management situation, they need a manager in pretty quick to start working with the squad if it's for the Chelsea game, if it's not then Graham Jones has them for another week, 
Um, I think they've got to find the right appointment. We know that the money is going to be spent in January, we know that. But uh, down at Palace, we'll have the videos. I'm staying overnight in London and I'm doing something with the other half as well. We're doing something on the next day. But uh, there'll be all the traditional drive downs, your match vlog, away match vlogs, which I know a lot of people are big fans of. Uh, and obviously, there's going to be the last word as well. Uh, and, and instant match reaction and then we've got the online team which is going to be Harry and Steve uh, possibly one other so we've got a lot going on basically for you for this Saturday so stay tuned to NFTV loads more interviews former Newcastle player might be coming on might be coming on that's all I'm going to say another one that hasn't been on the channel yet but anyway love you and leave you from St James's Park Tenor.